In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your very own um, Orc Scorcher Buggy. Hello, this is Craig from bitsvox.co.uk. So this is our latest conversion corner video. And this is a um, sort of Orc Buggy. Um, I'm going to do a Scorcher variant, but you could do any variant that you want. Um, we're going to use some parts from the galvanic solar harness and the orc truck as well as a few other little bits and pieces. And the idea for this came about on one of our live shows when I was actually building the galvanic servo harness itself. And I think the idea just came up from someone in the chat about using it from an orc buggy. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's try that. So yeah, um, just before we begin, if you have any um, ideas for other conversions that you'd like to see in the future, then please do leave a comment below and I will certainly try them out in a future video. So um, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we've got a couple of little um, vehicles here. Now these came in the Galvanic Servo Haulers um, box set. That's that terrain piece um, as a big crane and also these little vehicles. So I've built them sort of halfway there. So um, We've got the main chassis and the tracks on these. I built a smaller one as well, um, in case we come up with something for that. I haven't really, at this moment, got too much of an idea for this. I have a couple of little ideas, but not nothing um, too great, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, but this one, I think I know what I'm going to do with it. So that's what we'll concentrate on first, and then... Um, yeah, if I come up with some ideas, we'll do something with this one, but I'm going to put that to one side for just now. I just wanted to show that off as well. Like you do get two little things in there. I think we can do something with that one as well. Um, so with this one, my um, first idea is to maybe have an orc gunner on the back here. I did think about having him on the front, but I think um, this sort of top piece here is just a little bit too small. Whereas it's a bit wider at the back, I sort of rounded off there, so it's quite small at the top. Um, I haven't shaped down all the little mould lines and stuff, just for the purposes of this video. If I was um, building up properly for my army, then I'll go and do all that, and I might do all that after if um, this turns out looking nice. So enough babbling for me, let's get on with some bits and pieces. So there's a raised little ring there, and I want to just get rid of that completely and make it flush. So we're going to chop off all these little pieces around it, if we can. They're a bit awkward to get to, um, but not to worry because we have our good friend the hobby saw and we're going to just carefully just chop away at this. Um, there's not much movement back and forth as you can see, so it's going to take a little while. Um, you could chop away at, at clippers and then neaten it up with a file, which I might do because this could be a bit time consuming. But either way, I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, so that is now flush. And as you can see, I've taken off the exhaust. So putting that on um, wasn't a good idea. So if you are following along to this conversion, um, just bear that in mind because um, I'm going to add a cupola here from the Orc truck. And this was just getting in the way. So, I mean, you could wipe around it by snipping stuff away, but I thought I won't do that because it might look a little bit messy, even though this is an orc tr um, buggy or track. And um, it's not look too messy. So, these are the four cupola parts that glue together on the orc truck. And um, I've got the instruction booklet here. Uh, so then four bits there you can see on the instructions. So yeah, um, obviously not the most cost-effective conversion here, but we're going to put that on there and we'll have the orc gunner inside as well. Um, first things first though is that it's got all these rivets and stuff on the bottom, so we need to just trim them away so they are flush. And to do that, um, yeah, I'll go grab my clippers or a file or something. So essentially what I'm doing is just cutting along there like so and then I'll neaten up 
what's left with the file. Okay, so now that's nice and smooth at the bottom, we can go ahead and glue it on to the back of the buggy. Now you could just have it um, straight on like that, but I like to have the guns and stuff on at an angle. We can assume that this just rotates around. Now there's also these little bits here what stick out on this plate. I'm thinking that I'm going to just chop them away as well. Obviously they are not needed for this conversion. I mean if you really want to you could even just round this whole plate off. Being an orc vehicle again we don't have to be too neat. But I still don't want it to look too messy. So it's just finding the right balance and I've got little bits of plastic all over the place now. So, yeah, if I can, I'll probably just use a knife just to smooth these off a little bit. They haven't got to be perfect, but to trim them away enough and then you're not left with anything too noticeable. I thought it doesn't matter if you make any mistakes. Again, an orc vehicle, they're not... Super neat. I just do want to make it just as nice as I can, really. So yeah, um, I'll just go ahead and I'll glue that on there like so. Okay, so that's now glued on there. So next, um, we can put an org in there. So this bit here, I actually thought it was for gun mount, but um, it turns out it's not. It's just for like um, the wrecking ball mount on the truck. But we're going to use it as a gun mount. Um, I might have to make some adjustments there. So I've built up our orc from the orc truck, and um, he's just standard. Now, um, orc players will know that actually you don't have big shooters on these tracks, you normally have twin big shooters, or you can have um, a scorcher or rocket pack, um, depending on um, what type of track you're making. I'm thinking we might do a scorcher here, um, mainly because I just don't have the other big shooters available, but I do have and a heavy flamer I could use to make a really cool looking scorcher. So we might do that. Um, in fact, we probably will. Um, I'm not going to glue this guy in because obviously if I do want to paint this, um, it'll be uh, just too difficult to paint him if he's inside there. But he does come in and out quite easily. So we need to make some adjustments here. Just to make the gun look like it fits on there a bit more naturally, we'll cut these crappy bits off at the front and we'll cut down this bit here as well. So we'll start by doing that. So we don't need these. Now I'm getting shot at least. Chop them off. I'm just ping across wherever. Neaten them up a bit. And of course I can run the fire along there. We're gonna chop this bolt too. So now when he goes in, it looks like he's got a little rest for the gun. So I'm thinking just chopping the gun off at this bit, and then we'll whack on a heavy flamer. Um I don't know what this is from. Some something space marine. And we could just whack that on there like so. So, let's do that. Chop up his big shoe. I'm going to chop it off right here. Right off there. Now, this might be... I don't know, it might be okay. Let's chop it. Let's chop this here. And obviously it's... If you want a cleaner cut, you just use your model saw. But I'm just going to... Chop it with the clippers and file it down so we get a nice flat edge. I'm not too worried about this skull and crossbone symbol on there. We can, I might even just file that away. Um, but essentially, that's gonna go on there. It doesn't look the neatest, but this is orcs. These are orcs. We're gonna add some extra stuff on here as well. So, yeah, we'll get rid of that skull and crossbone. We don't need that. Chop away a little bit of at the bottom so I'll get them glued together and then we'll work on some other mods for this gun. Okay so next I'm going to add some flamer tanks to this and I've got these ones um, I think they're from one of the Grey Knight sets and I've just um, chopped them back a little bit underneath and um, they're already sort of partly flat anyway so I've sort of Make um, more of them flat just so they'll fit on the side of this gun. I'll try and get them out of here. Now cover up this horrible gap that we've got here between the two pieces. 
doesn't look so bad on the other side. Um, we'll, we can always put something on there as well. But um, yeah, on here we can cover that up. And then we have some flamer tanks. They look a little bit too big, but um, that's fine. You can get away with so much with orcs, which is nice. So it really looks like a sort of a looted gun that he sort of built himself out of parts that he's found laying around. Which no doubt, that's how most orc guns are built. And if you have like some spare parts from flash kits, you could really just add some really cool like parts from their weapons on there. They have lots of mish mishmash of parts you can add. And it doesn't fit um, on the rack, so we're going to move him over slightly and... Oh, it really doesn't want to stick. Stick it out like so. There we go. So it's not going to be dead straight, but yeah, it's orcs. They're very forgiven. So I'm going to let all that dry. And um, we've got a few more bits to add on, and I think it'll be done. Okay, so while that's drying, and we can concentrate on some bits on here. You can see I've very crudely cut away at the skull symbol that was there. And we're going to add one of these little glyphs, also from the orc truck. And I'm going to do this on both sides. Um, so that's just going to go on like that. So we're adding a little bit of orky glyphs to it. Maybe I'll add some smaller ones to the other wheel. We haven't got a great deal to work with from the truck. So, yeah. Um, I'll see what we've got left towards the end. But yeah, um, obviously if you've got some lying around and you're not player, you can just add them wherever you like. So before I do the other side, which I will do off camera, I'm going to add some orky stuff to the front also. And I've got a really cool bit but I'm now going to clip off the truck sprue. And we've got this piece. I'm thinking of chopping it in half and then maybe having like some bits on the side there, so let's try and chop that as close to halfway as possible. Again, being orcs you can get away with not being neat. Be as crude as you like. And actually these spikes almost sort of line up with these holes here. Um let me get my hands out of the way. They sort of line up there. Um, it's not gonna fit on very well like that because um how this bit is but yeah I'm thinking maybe We'll whack them on like that. Um, I'm just going to neaten up the bottom a little bit. Again, as I've been saying throughout this video, you can get away with a lot with orcs, but I still want to have some sort of neatness to this conversion. Wondering whether that might be better on the other side, and then we'll have this one on there. Get it to glue. Obviously, when you're working with a lot of areas that aren't meant to glue onto each other, um, they can be a bit problematic at times. But once the glue is set, you'll find they're normally okay. It's just that we have don't have very good contact points. So that just makes it a little bit more orky looking on the front. So I just want to quickly point out that I was looking through the truck sprue and I didn't notice there is actually a little set of flamer tanks on there so I put them on the other side of the scorcher so it's quite kitted out um, now with tanks and um, big flamer tanks. So he's got plenty of fuel to keep him going in a battle and it should be kind of dry now. So. I mean, you can add any other orc glyphs and whatnot to it to really orc a fire, add some more spikes and stuff like that. But I'm going to leave it there for now, and we've just got to deal with um, this front piece here. Now, one idea I did have was maybe using the little Gretchen guy from Stormboy's kit. You have the one who's sort of in the rocket pack, and he could act as maybe like a little sort of pilot thing. Um, but I don't have one of them lying around, unfortunately. Although we do have some coming in very soon. But, um, 
that's an idea. The only thing with that is he sort of looks like he's holding on. So he's sort of, when he's just sitting there, sort of more comfortably in there, he looks a bit silly, but um, he could work as a little sort of pilot. You could put an orc in there. I was thinking maybe we just stick an orc boy in there. Um, I don't know, would he look too goofy maybe? Um, I don't know why I'm asking this question now, because I'm not filming this live, but um, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So it could be something as like, we could just have one in there and then, you know, we can always take him out and put something in there. Maybe I'll put the Gretchen in there at a later date and see what that looks like. But, you know, these videos, as I always say, are to give you guys ideas. They're not set in stone conversion guides that you have to follow 100%. So if I do anything and you think it looks terrible, then just don't do it when, if you want to do your own conversion. I'm sure you guys could come up with stuff much better than I could. But I do like to, um, sort of help give you guys some ideas what we can do. So I'm just gonna just take a random just um, like chain sword. Um sort of your boy sprue and we'll take a random little slugger. Cause he needs arms, he's gotta have arms. And we'll give him a head as well. Now of course if this looks terrible, I can just stick him on a pair of legs and we have a little boy so it won't be the end of the world. So I don't know why I'm doing this off camera here, there he is. We'll stick a little head on him. We'll just make sure he fits okay. I'll be careful with him, I don't want to break the arms off. I don't think he looks too bad actually. Now you can you can just say, well, you know, he would never fit through that gap, he'd get stuck, blah 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 blah. But let's let's ignore that for now. <laughs> Cause he he looks he looks alright, in my opinion anyway. Um, we're going to do this one with a little helmet on. Because obviously if an orc's in a vehicle, he needs to wear a helmet. And especially this one, because it will probably be painted red, which means it'll be quite fast. So, let's glue a little head with a helmet on for him. Now of course if you have other orc sets and spare bits laying around, you might have some more interesting heads. I'm just using stuff from the orc boys here. But that don't look too bad. Um, yeah, that looks okay. Um, obviously there's more, you, as I say, there's more you could probably do with that, but that looks okay. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to walk the fight up anymore. I think that's quite a nice little scorcher buggy we've got there. I quite like that. Now I know this is not the most cost effective conversion in the world, but um, you know, it's an idea that we came up with on one of our live shows and I thought, yeah, why not? So. Yeah, at the end of the video, I'll do a little 360 degree view of that as well. We'll add, we'll start adding the old 360 degree views on these videos as well. Now um, we have this little one here as well. Um, I'm struggling with ideas actually. I just don't have the pieces to to do something with it. Um, what I would do is maybe let's take him out actually. Let's see if we can take him out because he's not glued in. We'll take this guy out here. Ah, oh, come on. He doesn't want to come out. He likes his new buggy way too much. There we go. I was thinking you could have an orc sort of standing there, but obviously we can see like he's going to be too short, so you need to sort of make a little platform. You could have him on there. Again, maybe someone in the front. I think it might look a bit too goofy on a little one. I'm not really digging that. So yeah, maybe these ones are just too little to do something with, but this big one, I think it works really well. So yeah, um, of course, um, if you have any ideas what we could do with this, then leave a comment below and then maybe we can use it in a future video. It doesn't have to be for orcs, it could be for anything. Um, yeah, just give us some ideas and then maybe we'll turn it into a video. So I'll keep that lying around and who knows what we'll come up with. So yeah, um, next shot will be a 360 degree view of this. Oh, and before we do that, um, the exhaust. I just realised the exhaust. Um, it's not going to fit in there, but I think... I wonder if we chop these bits down, whether we can just sort of have something going on. It's just... Yeah, it's just really not going to fit. Um, I think I might just cut it down and maybe just have that little piece, maybe. I don't know. Or we can just ignore it, or we can add some stuff from the truck. I didn't really think that bit through. But I think for now... Um, 
Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about that. You can't really see where that and that hole there. So we're not going to do an exhaust, but obviously you could, and it could be really orky and really cool. But yeah, um, anyway, let's get on to this 360 degree view. Okay, and here we have the finished buggy on my little just turntable. There, I apologise if there's a slight hum from the turntable. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Obviously it's a little bit crude in places, but as I said, it's orcs. And we can get away with that. Um, you can probably play a drinking game where every time I say something like that to take a shot, you'd probably be well drunk by now. <laughs> I've repeated myself a lot in this video. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with how it looks. Um, pretty cool, something different for a buggy. I really hope GW do eventually come up with a new buggy kit sooner rather than later because they are very, very old miniatures. But if you've got money to burn or you have some spare bits lying around from these sets, then, you know, go for it. I'm sure um, there are some places on the internet where you might be able to buy these individually. Unfortunately, we don't sell the truck or the galvanic servo harness parts, but uh, maybe one day in the future, who knows. But yeah, um, it looks quite cool, quite unique, and as I said, um, it's just an idea, when I was building the first set of galvanic servo harnesses um, during one of my live shows, um, sort of just came up as an idea on the chat and I thought, yeah, really good idea for a video, so here we are. So yeah, as always, um, if you have enjoyed this video, despite me rambling on for God knows how long, then please do give it a thumbs up. Um, of course, you can always subscribe to our channel as well if you want to keep up to date with these future conversion videos. They might be going out on a different day now. This one's going up on a Friday rather than a Wednesday. Um, so they might be on Fridays now. Um, as I said in my sort of video for 2018, um, videos are going to be more when I've got them ready to go. So I'm just sort of not rushing them out. I found when I was um, trying to stick to a schedule, I was sort of um, rushing them out a bit. I don't know why the turntable stopped, but... <laughs> So yeah, um, I'll, I'm going to try and get these out every Friday, but that's not set in stone. But um, if you want me to get them out quicker, then certainly um, please leave a comment below for any ideas that you have for conversions. So I've got enough um, ideas to work with. I'm um, starting to run a bit thin on some. I've got a few in the pipeline, but um, I, ideas for conversions you'd like to see are always welcome. So yeah, um, like, subscribe. We have a Patreon as well if you want to support us any further. But just watching our videos is fantastic, um, so thank you so much, and we will see you all again in the next video.